Und das wünsche ich der Gesellschaft, dass sie zurückkehrt in dieser Andacht speziell. Im Namen des Vaters und des Sohnes und des Heiligen Geistes. Amen. Gelobt Jesus Christus, in Ewigkeit. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, dear faithful in Christ, today we celebrate the Sunday within the octave of the uh, Sacred Heart of Jesus. Before we made an announcement, which is on Wednesday, on the 29th of June, the Feast of the Apostles Peter and Paul, we... Uh, celebrate the anniversary uh, of 30 years of uh, priesthood of uh, Father Ab uh, Florian Abramovich. And we congratulate uh, sincerely and we, we ask all the faithful to, 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 um, to give uh, likewise a a bundle of a bouquet of uh, prayers to him. So this means that we dedicate especially all the prayers at that day in his favor that he is be he will be guided, he is be guided uh, always by the Holy Spirit and that he has the protection of his custodian angels on his uh, long uh, travels. Regarding the Feast of the Sacred Heart, we remembered it's, uh, it's quite a, it came uh, quite late with his own liturgy, with his own Mass. It was about the time after Jesus Christ uh, in a vision talked to the Sor the sister Maria Margarita Alagoc in the years uh, um, 1675 and he, he talked to her and asked that people should adore the, the sacred heart of Jesus, the human and divine and to find the refuge there, to ask all the favors there, and to all the thanksgivings there. This uh, adoration, this devotion, uh, basically came up as a counter-reaction to the Jansenism, which came up about the 17th century, this heresy, uh, were teaching that the corrupt uh, man has no way to to cooperate to work out to work for his uh, salvation. This heresy is based on another heresy about 1,000 years prior, the Pelagianism, uh, which was refuted then by uh, Saint Augustine. And this heresy of Pelagianism were even teaching that um, the, the providence also uh, foresees who is saved and who is damned. That means no one can add, no one can work for his salvation or no one can uh, do something positively for the, for the damnation. That means everything is pre-stabilized, uh, pre-organized, uh, pre so to speak. But we know, and the Church teaches us, yes, the salvation of every human mankind, principally, is uh, possible because it was made possible for all men through the uh, death of Jesus Christ on the cross. By this he made, he give, gave access for everyone's salvation. 
but yes, also we must cooperate. There's an absolute condition. We must cooperate, we must do good actions, we must uh, be baptized and we must live in Jesus Christ and in the truth. And when uh, the soldier opened the, the, the sacred heart by the lens, the was coming out, they came out, they came out uh, water and blood. And this is likewise the symbol for water, for we are lavished, we are cleansed by the water of the holy baptism coming out from the side of our Lord and uh, the, the blood coming out symbolizes the, the mercy God has us on us, the mercy that He redeemed us, He worked out our redemption. And so there is still <coughs> flowing out water and blood out of the uh, sacred heart of Jesus. Therefore, let us always be aware of the promises of the baptism and let us always be aware when we take the Holy Communion that we really uh, take uh, communion with Jesus Christ with the Sacred Heart and remember in this occasion on the beautiful uh, mir miracle of Eucharistic miracle in Lanciano, in the middle of Italy, in, in, in Abruzzo. And there the consecrated host uh, visibly changed into uh, flesh and the consecrated wine visibly changed into blood. After the dots, the priest uh, had in his mind about the true transubstantiation and this happened in the uh, in the 15th century and we still have these relics and there were uh, scientific examinations done in the beginning of the last century and they could um, uh, analyze that this uh, flesh is a human flesh of a human heart and we see Jesus Christ wanted to operate this miracle because we know where the heart is there is Jesus Christ entirely there is the being entirely and with this miracle he wanted to show I am entirely totally in the consecrated host therefore when we take the Holy Communion, have also great devotion to the Sacred Heart of Jesus and try to have the most possible union with it. Yes, and in this we want to thank for this beautiful feast, for the installation of this beautiful feast, we thank Jesus Christ that He gave us those means, that He gave us His sacred heart, where we can have refuge, where we can uh, bring all our afflictions, that we that we really can stay, and we can where we can take all our nourishment. And we take, we we say thanks to to the Immaculate Heart of Mary, and ask her special intercession that she leads us to this uh, Sacred Heart of her Divine Son. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Blessed be Jesus and Mary, now and forever.